Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. So, today we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with the silence between the two of you, okay? So, why aren't they communicating? Why aren't you communicating? What happens if you do? What happens if you don't? Just we'll see what's really going on here. Um, you know, what exactly is your silence? What does it mean? What does it all mean? What is it saying? This is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Right. Hey, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and begin. Okay, you have the King of Swords, which tells us that someone does want to communicate. They want to talk. Could be you though because you're the air energy maybe you're the one that does want to receive communication and you could be waiting on communication here from this person okay this is interesting all right this is an interesting situation here because I feel like you are waiting for communication from someone who essentially you feel like has emotionally distance themselves away from you or who has turned their back on you who has walked away from you this is someone who may have uh, you know they may have ghosted you they may have broken things off with you or it could be that this person here is not communicating or is not talking because maybe you you were the one to have suggested that you needed a break in this relationship in this connection or that you guys needed some time apart as a result i feel like this person feels they feel a sense of abandonment, they do, or someone does here, and a sense of rejection, okay? I'm also seeing that this has also, there's been some emotional triggers here. So maybe this person has, you know, they've experienced a lot of abandonment in their life, and this is bringing up, surfacing all sorts of emotions all over again. So no contact, no communication. On some level, no contact, no communication here is strategic. This person is purposely not communicating, not contacting with you because they're wanting to send a message. As the saying goes, silence speaks volumes, okay? And if this person, if you have sent a message to this person and if you're waiting to receive a message, then understand that no response is a response in, its, in itself, okay? That is a response in itself, and it is saying something here. So people, people don't always tell you how they feel, okay? And even if they do, you have to be mindful of the fact that words lie. They can be sugar-coated. They can be fabricated. The truth can be stretched. It can be, you know, words, you know, they can be embellished here. But their actions... Their actions will always show you how they feel. What they do, okay, not so much what they say, but what they do will show you how they feel. Pay very close attention because I feel like what this purpose, sorry, what this person is doing is purposeful, is deliberate, is intentional. This is someone who is purposely withholding communication back from you, even though they themselves want to talk, but they're putting on this King of Swords energy, this very you know, icy demeanor here. This person is purposely aware that their silence here is driving you crazy. The energies could work in reverse though. Maybe you're the one who hasn't heard, maybe you're the one who hasn't contacted this person and they're possibly waiting to hear from you. And, you know, this is really messing them up. The fact that you've cut off You've completely cut off communication, you've cut ties from this person, or you've completely distanced yourselves from, from this individual tells us that this person is hurting. They feel a sense of rejection, abandonment, and even though they want to reach out and bridge this gap and bridge this distance between the two of you, they're feeling so hurt that they don't know how to process this hurt and this inner emotional turmoil. And what they're doing here is projecting their hurt back onto you by not reaching out, okay, by, and essentially they're trying to get you under the impression that they're not phased by this, 
okay that you're not communicating you're not contacting and they're not doing the same because they want to show you that they're good without you they're not faced by this that you know it's almost like they're not even noticing that the two of you aren't talking which in t which in fact isn't necessarily a truth because i feel like this is someone who as i've mentioned they're projecting their hurt this so whatever this person is doing here if they're purposely posting you know a lot and they've been exceptionally active on social media lately and they're posting all these pictures or even these comments that you believe or these memes or quotes that are purpose like potentially aimed at you this is all deliberate this is all intentional so even though this person isn't communicating with their words they are communicating with their actions and their actions tell me that this person is hurt by you they are so you know sometimes it's not what you say but what you do that sends the loudest message and i'm hoping that you guys are paying attention because this essentially it's a cry for your attention it's a cry for your attention their silence their act, their words, their actions here are a cry for your attention. So, and you can tell, you can tell by the way that they're acting lately, but lately by the fact that they're not responding when they typically would, or by the fact that they're not reaching out when they would have by now. You know, you can tell by the actions that hey, this person is acting up because. Let me tell you, it has messed them up a bit. It has. They're an emotional wreck. They can project whatever facade they want to you, but this person is an emotional wreck. So there's that. I do feel like there is going to be contact and communication in the future, but I think it's going to get to a point where this person, like they'll have to reach breaking point before they do, because right now it feels like they're so hurt. They're so hurt. You could be dealing with someone who is... I'm picking up a water energy, in particular a Scorpio or a Cancer, someone who may have this in their natal chart. Because, see, with can uh, with Cancerian energy, once they become you know, and they do become very attached to people, and it, it's so hard for them to detach and disconnect. And a part of this person is energetically attached to you, and they're just so messed up over the fact that you could just so easily, you know, cut them off like that. And I don't think you want it to. I think. I don't know why I get an, uh, like an energy of you feel like you had to, to send them a message or to get them, you know, to give them space to work on themselves, just to work on some sort of situation. But this person doesn't see it that way. They see it as a personal attack. If they're a scorpion, um, a Scorpio energy here, Scorpios can be very, uh, they're, they're very big about revenge, you know, and think about, think of Scorpio using their stinger here. This is a creature who injects poison and venom into its prey and you know this is this is also a creature who holds on to emotional wounds and they're stinging here the fact that they retaliate they're stinging here correlates with their emotional wounds and their sore spots here so this is where i get strong water energy coming in here they could also use their words here okay so it's like they may say things, especially with the King of Swords energy that could, they might weaponize their words and they may say things that really hurt and have this poisonous verbal sting attached to it. I do feel like there is going to be future communication because especially with the appearance of the Chariot card, you've got the King of Wands who's leaning forward in his seat, in his chair here, which tells us that this person is still energetically connected to you. They're still very much attracted and drawn to your energy. But I think what's you know, underneath this no contact, no communication, I feel like they're really hurt and they're very bitter and they're resentful and they're projecting their hurt and their pain onto you. I also feel like this person isn't someone who deals well emotionally. Again, why I'm picking up strong water energy because sometimes they can really be overwhelmed by their emotions. You know, they are after all ruled by the emotional realm here. The suit of cups. Um, it just, yeah, I feel like they're having a hard time processing their emotions and their no contact, no communication or very little of is them retaliating here, okay? It's them being really unpredictable at this point in time and they're being a little bit vicious and provocative with their attack here. Uh, they will come back into your life. There will be contact. There will co be communication. Heads up. I think they may be very cold and very distant when they reach out to you. But the fact that they're reaching out to you in itself or they're, you know, finally communicating is saying something, right? Um, they will take some sort of action. But right now, I feel like they're bitter. Okay? They're pouty like a child here. They're brooding. So, you know what? Let them pout. Okay? let them miss you let them do their thing now because they're going to come around i think you hold your own right now you take this time to really invest in yourself 
because I just feel like your person needs to get it out of the system. They have to pout, kick, scream, shout. They have to do whatever it is to just get this out of their system. They will come back around, but I just think for some reason, I just see them being really hurt. Um, and again, it could have a lot to do with emotional triggers, previous painful emotional wounds that kind of reopened and resurfaced here. I don't think this is the end. Okay, and I think with the moon here, I think you're being advised to trust your intuition on this. I also feel like they're being urged to trust and uh, allow themselves to be guided and led by their intuition. This person is wanting to manifest a reunion with you. They are wanting to communicate. They are wanting to get past whatever it is that's happened here between the two of you. Okay, because it does feel painful and they don't want to be in this space forever. They are going to take action because they're leaning towards you here. They will take inspired and rather unexpected action as well. Okay, they'll come back in your life. They will. They'll manifest back into your life because the universe says that the two of you still have unfinished business. Okay, the two of you still have a destiny to fulfill. And look at this, you know, infinity loop that hovers back to get, that hovers around his head. So you will cross paths again. Whether, you know, it's up to you. You will be given another opportunity with this person and they will with you but it's up to you whether or not this is going to work out okay because the both of you need to put in the work the universe you know it can't do that for you it can orchestrate this meeting it can orchestrate those fateful circumstances for you to come back but you're going to have to do some of the work here um, in the meantime nine of pentacles energy focus on yourselves guys i know it probably is a little bit emotionally distractive and you know their silence is probably really it, it's i can see it's definitely you know um impacting you okay it's definitely and you probably feel like hurt by it okay you probably feel like they're acting very cold or distant but understand that whatever it is that they're doing here they're acting up or lashing out I think it's so deliberate and I think that it's per that you know they're being purposeful and I think they're just they're just trying to get your attention it's a way for them to get your attention and look they've succeeded because I think some of you you know you are responding whether or not verbally um, emotionally so just try and work on yourself and let me tell you everything else is going to fall into place it will it will okay and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel for those of you interested in the personal reading feel free to reach out bye for now